Hello and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today I'm going to show you the offline editor or the single player mode for the 0.61 update. It has been a while when it was released but I wanted to make a video for the 0.61. I've already made a video for uh, 0.60 offline editor but this is now deprecated and I want to make a new one so you have to download the file in the video description and you have to unpack these two folders maybe you can put it on your desktop or maybe I don't know in a different folder and you can close it now and get to your daisy standalone folder where your daisy standalone is installed it's maybe on your as a, it's it should be in your steam folder under steam apps common and there you find all your steam games and your daisy folder i have it on a different drive i have it on my b drive but it doesn't matter it's the same and now you can drag these two folders you just uh, unzipped into your daisy folder and now you have to go into your add-ons folder and take your word generous IE AI sorry dot uh, PBO and copy it to your desktop or wherever you need it and then delete it there that's very important otherwise you will get a blue screen or I think your daisy crashes uh, I don't know and now you go to your uh, smart steam emulator start the launcher and you can delete this thing I've accidentally started it uh, so you will see this in white because your path isn't the same that uh, my path was so you can just delete it and go to file add game and then you could take your daisy.exe from there or you go back and drag this daisy.exe into your launcher and now you have to go to the game app ID and put 221100 in and you're ready to go. Yeah, now you can start with a double click or right click launch. So your daisy will look a bit weird when you start it as you will see in a second. So your daisy is pull to the right it's not centered in your on your screen but it shouldn't be a problem we will fix this now but you have to be fast when you click restart now I was too late so you need to press alt f4 or close your daisy and make the same thing again it's a bit annoying but I don't know how to fix it and yes if you are fast enough it should be no problem so you have to wait a bit until it loaded okay and now your cursor will disappear and you have to be prepared so escape restart and you're in the game okay now let's fix this you go to video and put your daisy into windowed mode and then yes you just full screen it and go to configure and change your resolution back to the normal hit apply and it should work fine so you spawn without anything but you can press B to open a menu a menu and you can search for any item which is in daisies currently and you can make your own presence so you could take my loadout and spawn in inventory and now I have uh, M4 fully equipped and some clothing on and you can of course spawn things for your sedan on the ground and you even can spawn the sedan itself you have to uh, search for it here sedan yes sedan so civilian sedan and then you spawn it on the ground and there it is okay now you could uh, put it together with all the parts and drive around <laughs> and have a bit fun but 
this is only for single player, so you can't play with your friends. And yes, it's no kind of hack or something, it's just a modification of some files, so you will land in this place here. And you can create your own presence, so you can, yes, I don't know, YouTube. So if you have one with a B in it, it will close it and it won't work, so I will name it Showcase. Um, press OK. And then you have your present. It's currently empty, so let's search for NBC. Of course it closes when I press B. OK, I can now add the NBC pants and press this arrow and now the NBC jacket, arrow, boots, add it in there, the hood and finally the gloves. So if I mark this one I have to go to showcase and then spawn in inventory otherwise it won't work so if I spawn maybe test or the I don't know the tutorial so I have the M4 and spawn it on the ground I've already made this video so <laughs> and it I've made some mistakes but um, yes I can now search for the M4 and edit in there and maybe we search for something else maybe a suppressor for the M4 and put this in there too so I have the attachment suppressor after I have my M4 so it will be on my M4 if I move this thing up and now spawn this in my inventory maybe it's yes you know uh, of course you have to uh, select showcase there uh, or your present you want to spawn so it will spawn this thing and now you see the M4 and the attachment is in my inventory and not on my M4 so I move this thing down again spawn in inventory and now you see it's on my M4 but uh, yes there you see it uh, but this is still in my, in, in my inventory I don't know why so I just spawn this thing in inventory so it's cleared and this again so you see the M4 has now the suppressor on it. Okay, so you can create some kind of uh, loadout where you have your uh, clothing and your M4 with all your attachments, like I showed before. Here you have your M4 and uh, all attachments you need. Okay, um, let's see what we can do next. Um, of course you can select some things up there if you are in common with the SQF or the enforcement script languages you can execute scripts. I don't know if your uh, daisy crashes, maybe. And because the 0 0.60 you can execute these commands but your daisy crashed so it won't make any sense and you can teleport that's very cool you can maybe teleport to Vibor or to Zelnogorsk West and yes you, I changed some video settings so it won't look so worse I hate rotation blur it's looking awful I think <laughs> That's just my opinion. So let's make this to very high. Okay, now it's looks looking much better. And yes, when you click character modifiers, for example, your daisy crashes. And yes, so let's do the reverse thing. So if you want to uninstall this, you first of all need to close the Smart Steam emulator and then delete these two folders and then go to your add-ons folder and you can put your world, your channels world AI back in there but if you have deleted it and don't want to reinstall daisy completely 
you can start steam and we will see when I have steam open so you go to your daisy properties and then not to updates you go to local files and then verify them verify the game files so it will verify every game file in your folder see if it's the right one or if it's disrupted or something like this or if it's even missing like our file we had so it scans for the whole DayZ it doesn't download the whole game again and yes let's see how far we are currently we're 66 percent okay let's wait until it's finishing Okay, 85, 90%, so it will finish every moment. Okay, and it will download f uh, 45 kilobytes, so it's really not that much. And yes, I hope you liked my video. And please give a like if you liked it. And um, yes, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.